on regularradio.com. Up next, two hotheads where activism happens. You're listening to Unregular Radio. The following program is mature content intended for adults only. The views, opinions, and thoughts expressed here are not necessarily those of Unregular Radio, its staff, or its affiliates. Furthermore, do not attempt to recreate any of the situations described, as it may prove physically, legally, or financially harmful. And as always, thank you for listening to Unregular Radio. Welcome, welcome to Hotheads, where activism happens. The phone number six one six. Uh, oh my God, six one seven six zero six four one two two. We haven't even started the show, and it's like one of those days where everything that could go wrong probably will and has. And but it's not really everything. Like it's funny. Heather's not here yet. That's that's the one issue we're having right now. And uh, wondering where Heather is. But there's one hothead here. Mike can you know who I am? And uh, we have special guests in the studio. And one of the things I fucked up this week is I booked a guest and didn't even realize it. I had gotten a confirmation. And uh, for the first time, like, I fucked up on the booking. Usually it's the guest that will fuck up. If you don't hear someone on the show, it's because they were idiots and didn't check their schedule. And I did that this week. So we actually have an extra guest. So we hopefully have three guests today. Definitely two in the studio. Three, actually, in the studio. Excuse me. But two different segments. We got a phone call already. Let's find out who's on the phone. Oh, someone's calling us. We're calling them. What? Why does that happen? See, yeah. We're getting spit. This is like a mortgage call or something. Just tell them they're on the air right yeah. pick up. Because they totally just called. Hello? Hey, you were just calling our radio station. We're calling you live on the air. What's going on? Hey, guys. Uh, you know, I was just putting the phone uh, phone number in my cell phone in case I wanted to call later during the show. I, I didn't know what was up yet. I was just getting tuned in. We're trying to introduce the show, and you're already interrupting. Who are you? <laughs> I haven't even... In, in, it smokes a lot of pot of us. Oh, boy. You know what? We wanted to hear from you, so what's been up with you lately? Nothing. I missed last week's show. I wasn't feeling too good, and I slept, I slept the whole day, unfortunately. But uh... Well, you know, that happens. It happens to me sometimes when I have a day off. I finally sleep. Well, I, I, I told you, I, I got the po- I got like he posted one segment for the show on YouTube, so I caught that with the Barney Frank thing and the other bit there, but I didn't hear the rest of it. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. I'm glad you uh, check it out on YouTube. What yeah, is, I keep up with it when I miss anything. What are your favorite? Like uh, we we we've been covering all sorts of topics lately. What are your some of your favorite things that you'd like to see us cover? Well, you know, I like anything where somebody's getting injustice, the juggalo thing, you know, the whole, uh, you know, anybody trying to go up against what we won with the question three, and, and also I'm, you know, monitoring closely, you know, the any news that comes out about, uh, you know, the, how the regulations are fitting out about medical. Excellent. You did, know, with, did you see that I got called an addict? Yeah, I did. That whole <laughs> Heilman thing is ridiculous. Yeah, she said, you know... Because you sit in front of a wall of your music collection, she's calling you a, a kid in the basement, you know? Yeah. I just lost my headphones in the middle of that, so I didn't hear a word you said, but I'm sure it was good. I said because you sit in front of the, your music collection when you do your, vi- your video thing, she's saying you're a kid in the basement, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, that video. I know. It was just hilarious. It's like, thank you. I, I love when she talks about me. <laughs> so, uh, which yeah, I mean, it's like, I, I, you know, what else is she into? I mean, you, you, you know, hating me you know, you, you, besides it, being against you. Yeah, I mean, seriously, that's what it turned into. Uh, and for people who aren't aware, it's uh, I'm talking about Heidi Heilman, who uh, ran the campaign against medical marijuana in Massachusetts, who's been uh, attacking me with press releases during the campaign, which was awesome promoting my YouTube, promoting our show on regular radio. We're getting a lot of uh, calls from press. It's helped me get into the Phoenix, like, I don't know, four or five times in the last couple months, which is awesome. And uh, I, n- now the campaign's over. We trumped, we, we crushed her. We crushed her with YouTube videos. We crushed her with our radio show. We crushed her with the community and the guests that we get here at Re- Unregular Radio. <laughs> and uh, what happened is uh, she, she went online and, and basically had a tirade and called me an addict, an obvious marijuana addict, which is just hilarious. I mean... Uh, I don't have any marijuana on me right now. Yeah, I could get some, but uh, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's the most. Re- if, if you if you know, I asked my family, my friends. I had to go uh, just check in and say, hey, do you think I'm an addict? Let's ask Heather Mac. Heather, do you think Mike can has a marijuana problem? Seriously, not kidding now, because Heidi Heilman is probably listening. 
Do you think? Uh, I think you have a problem with uh, a lot of idiots uh, that say that marijuana use is a problem. Have the max here. Smoke a bottle. <laughs> That's cool. You know what I'm gonna say to that? Come on. That was uh, that was flattering. I think yeah. personally. Yep. That you are still know. making uh, top of the news in terms of. Uh, Anti question three. Uh, that's over with, guys. <laughs> I know. I know. I hate to Let's break talk. it to you. Uh, Let's talk pro three. If anybody, I, I didn't battle, know whether this was covered I, on the show, which is one of the things I would have uh, mentioned last week if I had had a chance to call in. Is uh, I've been monitoring the, uh, the the state's health department website, yep. and I had a call into I don't know. I forget the woman's name over there. Whoever's answering all the questions. That I'm sure they're getting a million phone calls, but. Uh, why don't you pull up the page on current mar- marijuana about the, you know, what they're saying about medical. And they are saying right now that, you know, basically they're giving people permission. They say you have permission to grow a reasonable amount yep. until the regulations are flushed out. Yes, they are. They're I following along. The yeah, the Department of Public Health is following Which they're along. trying to get rid of. Which, uh, said, well, the which legislature. Keenan is trying to get rid of, but we'll see. not going to succeed. Yeah. <laughs> I've been talking to some lawyers and uh, some, some I, I think we're good. Yeah, I think I so, th- too. I, yeah, I think that they got that you know they could say what they want and campaign what they got, but they got a lot of water to tread to go against exactly you know, everything that's there. The mandate of the voters was yep. pretty clear, yep. and we have been calling it that, and we'll continue to call it that as a, it is a mandate. Sixty three percent. Yep, can't absolutely. It. And smoke a bottle. I can't even say your name. Can you say his smoke name? Smoke a lot of potamus. Yes. He's that on the guy? phone. Yeah, well, <laughs> call me Jeff too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make it easy for my can. I never get the name. names right. So. Uh, <laughs> So thank you for calling, and uh, you're going to be. You, I think this week's show, we, we're probably not going to get into uh, marijuana as much. Maybe a few little Ooh, things. We got some, but yeah, we have some news, we but some we stuff. we got a lot of guests. And right now in the studio, I think you're going to like this next segment because it's kind of in line with what you were talking about. People who get f- who are getting fucked over, especially freedom fighters, and uh, we're dealing with uh, we, we you know information, the freedom of information, especially with the internet. And uh, we have the pirate party here today. In the studio. Yeah. yeah. let's hear it for that. Woo-hoo! We have Lauren and the captain. He's the number one dude in the Massachusetts pirate party. Am I correct to say that, Captain? That's right. Yeah, we have him All here. Right, well. Aye, aye. So we're going to be getting... <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll be listening. Yeah, we'll be right getting on. right into that. Well, I've, I've flown with Jolly Roger a time or two. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're, we're doing today. We're going to fly, fly that Jolly Roger. All right. Is that, am I saying it right? Just, we, we don't know. <laughs> we don't all right, know. all right. So, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, can we ask the pirate party? Did I say that right? Is it the Jolly Roger? It's the Jolly Roger. All there right, we go. all right. We're correct. So uh, 617-606-4122. Why don't we introduce our guest again? Let's Heather. try that. Yeah. Well, I see to my left is, is the one and only, the lovely Lauren Vespiza once again coming back live on the show. This is, is like this is the best kind of throwback, yo. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Can we get you guys to do a cheer? An act of, is it <laughs> acting high? What is it? What, what high school All is right. it? Uh, we said the high school. Should we go? go. Yeah. Fight, <laughs> win. Wow. Go fight, win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I get. That's we got, all I we got. got two That's cheerleaders that were on nope, the same no. squad. No. Wow. From cheerleading to rapping is actually it's not so much of a of stretch. A, leap. a stretch. <laughs> That's it's, fun. It's like training. It sure no, it really wasn't. Was <laughs> I was training to hate people, so then I guess <laughs> it gave me some material for my raps. Not Lauren though. Me and Lauren were always cool. Awesome. That's that is true. So we have the pirate party here, mm-hmm. and uh, we also have. Uh, I kind of messed up this week, Heather. Oh really? Yeah. I like three <laughs> Don't tell guests, our audience. We totally thought, have it yeah, all together. I was only prepared for two guests, and we have three guests. Oh, that's fantastic. That's I know. A terrible. It's, a, it's a, such a, a bad thing. Fabulous to have to uh, f- problem to have. So we have Tim here. And uh, Tim has a website that I just had up for a second ago, but um, I don't know what <laughs> happened to it, but I lost it. But basically, Tim is uh, working on some community projects, and the big one that I really liked was the Somerville Stock Exchange. Yeah, 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 and I've seen stuff about that up in Davis Square and stuff, and I'm, yeah. I'm curious about that as well. We're going to get right into that, because you know that's right up our alley, right? Yeah, absolutely. Community, monetary, finance, exchange, that's... Alternative currency that makes sense, that works immediately. Socially just currency, that's what we're all about. Exactly. So we got that. And we also, maybe, if we can get them on the phone, we have uh, an author who's kind of controversial, Dave McGowan. He's written, uh, he's very popular in the, on the internet, very, very popular. 
Uh, he's written a series called uh, uh, the, the actually I'm not even going to read it but it's about Laurel Canyon we'll just skip right to the chase it's about Hollywood music in the 60s and 70s where these people came from who they really were who were behind them and what their purpose really was that's cryptic. <laughs> Look it up. Look, and just go inside Laurel Canyon. Well, I just saw the update that I, that KC Hoy uh, posted on uh, on regular radio. It has a little uh, synopsis of it, so I'm I'm gonna be googling in our uh, in our little break. Very and we have also news, big news. Uh, MPP put out their their top ten. Uh, the best things in marijuana really? law and and Massachusetts PPQs made the list. Wow. Isn't that exciting? I'm what sorry, I had, to, I had to throw that out. I think it, uh, let's see, number seven, local initiatives in Massachusetts, Michigan, and Vermont. Number one was uh, legalization in Colorado. Oh, yeah, of course. Two, legalization in Washington. Yep. Three, Mass should always be on the top ten, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, some there was some list that came Actually, out, yeah, next state then, to legalize, yeah. and Mass wasn't on it. I'm like, you guys are nuts. I know. I actually was reading, I think, something like that, too. We're going to be one of the next states. Yeah, we'll see. 2016. Just you wait That's and see. That's the next see. wave. I, I, you know, there might be some initiatives in 2014 in some states, but I doubt it. And, and, and I think 2016 is the next time you're going to see some more states legalize it. And we had that big, uh, there was also that big article uh, Ariel Shearer did on, yes. uh, on Senator Keenan. Keenan. So yeah. we'll have to get into that later on as well. Yeah. Got lots of stuff, lots of stuff to discuss. Cause uh, they, and apparently Stan Rosenberg that that was the oh, big we'll reveal. Are we gonna have to get into? We're that gonna later. have to get him on the show. I know we gotta get him to explain himself because apparently him Stan Rosenberg is going back, doubling back, and I believe we have the quotes from the show showing how he was in support of question three the way it was worded we could really hurt him we really could we actually have <laughs> that have that material yeah. to say hey you did say this now to go and go back on that and say well, that you're, that's we you don't support back. it anymore we gotta get him so back on the show give him a chance to we explain talk to himself him like, I don't know. you know listen to this clip you were on our show yeah exactly and now look at this thing in the phoenix what's going on what are you doing Sign it up. Are you doing? that's that's why two hotheads is like we're crucial, you know, because we, we exactly we got that shit. We have it recorded. <laughs> it's like you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't they even know, know we were that. calling that day, too. Oh, remember yeah, that? Well, maybe. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, we kind of ambushed him. Well, no, we didn't. We set it up and then it got canceled for some reason. Oh, I, I know. I the, the, we had that. We had the power outage. Remember the week that the yeah, whole yeah, yeah, city yeah. of Boston yep. went down? Yeah. So we had a power outage and we tried to reschedule it with his aide. And I, and I said it was confirmed. I had the phone number. But the aide never really got back to me, so we just called him that day. Sure, asked him ambushed him. We did, but we got him, and he said, you know, he was in support of question three, and now he's going back and, and siding with Keenan, which is a really disappointing turn of events, and uh, I'm not going to stand for it. We're not going to stand for it. We're going to get him back and get him to explain himself, or we're going to send that clip out. Make it even more public. Oh, Hella, you are going <laughs> really hard. I'm going right? hard I because it. I think it's bullshit. You know what? We can't yeah. just think. We can't just think that we're safe and like, oh yeah, they probably won't do anything. You know, I feel like we have to be a little bit more aggressive than that. Because wow. Keen, you know, these are politicians that people elected. You know, they're Democrats. You know, expecting to have some sort of a reasonable and also expecting to represent the will of the people, which is 63 percent of the people that voted for this law. I love and we knew what we were voting for. So stop saying that we're too stupid yeah. to understand what we're voting for when we're voting for it. It makes me pissed off. I, I don't want to just say yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. So. I'm good. To, I'm glad to see that. <laughs> I feel like Fired it's always me that doing that. And well, I'm pissed. It's like I'll I've be been sitting back going, <laughs> I'm going to wait till everyone else actually says what I think. And well, I want to. just did. Yeah. No, seriously. Because yeah. I've been thinking about it. I'm like, this is so yeah. disingenuous. It's so sneaky. I know. And it's so, it's like childish. It's like, come on, you can't admit like you lost. You won. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Massachusetts won. Like, get over it. And, you know, uh, we'll get into uh, it more. But I, I it doesn't it almost seem like, too, like he's kind of being petty. Oh, yeah. Rosenberg. It's a stupid. He's it's, on our side. He's like, or, And because or, it did, they didn't do the initiative just he like he be, wanted. Maybe he's been targeted too much for being no, pro pot. But, no, like, who on. does he represent? He's out in Western Mass. Come That's on. <laughs> come on. This is him. This is just the way these people are. I'm I sorry. Uh, and maybe well, I alienate bullshit. him. Maybe he won't come on our show now, but whatever. You know, we like you, Stan. We do. I voted for you. You be know, I used to live in you your district, be. so represent. You know, it's your job. Well, we're going send, off. I mean, we're going off, and I we're know, just doing the intro. I know. All right, well, let's take a break. Let's have some music. Let's get our bearings of, <laughs> about us. 
You know, I got a little fired up there, but hey, that's good because hey, we're in a good. room of friends. Yeah. There's good people in here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be talking about all sorts good of stuff today. Calls. So, yeah, stay tuned. Six one seven six zero six four one two two. I now have it completely and totally memorized. A year into the show, let's do it. Call us up, and uh, we'll be back after a brief, brief musical interview. Uncensored, uncensored, unregulated radio. 